Hello, good people, and good morning. It's good to be with you again. This is the last day of this week. This is Friday, and I'm once again bringing you some devotions. But again, I encourage each of you to stay strong, stay strong in your faith, stay strong in your prayers and your reading of the scriptures, stay strong in your devotional life, and again, stay strong in checking on each other. This morning, I want to read to you from Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 8, where it says simply, The destroyer will come against every town, and not a town will escape. The valley will be ruined, and the plateau destroyed, because the Lord has spoken. Most of the time, at least hopefully, we all are people that are not only followers of Christ, but we are people who build each other up. A builder builds and a wrecker wrecks. It doesn't take near as long to wreck something as it does to build something up. That is equally true of both buildings and people's characters. A wrecker is someone that demolishes things. Demolish just simply means to tear down. It takes a lot more skill to edify and build someone up than it does to tear someone down. Words can be weapons of mass destruction. And I think all of you know that. A wrecker can destroy entire cities and farmlands in a very short time. Many good people's reputations and relationships have been demolished by the weapon-filled words of a wrecker. Good people always be positive, always build each other up. Christians especially should always be known for building other people up and repent if we have acquired the habit of being a wrecker. I also want to read to you this morning from James, or I'm sorry, Timothy, 1 Timothy, the first chapter. And this is uh, Paul talking. Uh, Paul is talking here about God's amazing grace. And uh, Paul knows that he is only saved by God coming into his life through Jesus Christ. Reading chapter 1 of 1 Timothy, verse 12. I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has given me strength, that he considered me faithful, appointing me to his service. Even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. Now again, this is Paul talking. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who would believe on him and receive eternal life. Now to the King eternal, immortal, immortal, invisible, the one God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. What a wonderful proclamation by Paul. What an awesome story Paul's life was. He who was a destroyer. He who was a, a person who did so much wrong before Jesus came into his life. If you'll remember, it had to be a, a traumatic crossover because Paul wasn't getting it. God kept trying to talk to him and kept trying to talk to him, but Paul wouldn't listen. And so God shined a, a brilliant, bright light into Paul's face and it blinded him. It blinded him for three days. Paul got the picture and came to his senses and turned towards Christ Jesus and then from then on was positive, was upbeat, was that very disciple, that very person that helped others come to know Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. That's who we are as Christians. That's who we are as followers. That's who we are as vessels for Jesus Christ. Always be that vessel. Always be that person known for why you believe in God and His Son, Jesus Christ, 
whom he sent to all of us. Let me pray with you. Again, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for each and every day. We thank you for our lives, Heavenly Father. We thank you for our community and our, our state, our nation. And Heavenly Father, we do lift up to you all the people of the world. With this coronavirus, which is so serious, we're asking, Heavenly Father, in the powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ, that you'll heal our land, that you'll help us to come back to you as you have called us. Come back to you, that we might be powerful witnesses for you, that all of us might turn our lives over to you, to learn the lesson that you want us to learn, and to just simply be your disciples. We give this up to you now. In the powerful name of your son, Jesus. Amen. I love each and every one of you. Have a great day.